So professional salespeople, one of my personal greatest disappointments when I've gone through a sales process, I've spent some time with a client, I've done what I consider to be a good fact finder, I've presented what I consider to be a great proposal, There's, there seems to have been a tremendous rapport with the client, to then have the client say, actually Brad, we appreciate your time, we, we thank you for the way that you've dealt with us, we thank you for the road we've walked, but actually, we're gonna be going with somebody else or we're not gonna be moving forward at this point and the door closes. All that effort, all that relationship building and then the door closes. As much as I understand that salespeople get these dopamine kicks and chemical uh, connections that, that make them feel really happy when they close a the deal, um, I'm not sure exactly what fires when we don't close a deal, but it's exceptionally disappointing to me. <laughs> I don't know how everybody else out there feels, but it's, it's absolutely devastating to me. The vast majority of clients that I deal with are really good people. There have been uh, one or two that have, are people that I'm happy to see the back of and quite happy not to do business with. But for those people who are good people that you've had a good connection with, great companies that are represented, it's just really tough to then close the door on that thing and, and not seem to have any momentum. And so consequently, finding a way to keep engaged, or as I call it, to leave the door open for further contact, has become a little bit of a hobby horse for me. And I do believe that I might have found a way forward. Now, there's no 100%, and I would be lying if I said to you that there was a 100% success ratio on this for me, there hasn't. But there's definitely been. Um, an opportunity to re-engage with many, many clients who originally said no. Now, my theory is based on the fact that even in my life as a client, I haven't always bought at the first time of presentation or at the first time of, of seeing something that I wanted to buy. For whatever reason, maybe um, I was having some buyer's remorse, maybe there was an internal um, discussion that was going on, a little bit of cognitive dissonance or something, um, and I maybe went back a month or two or, or, or three later and only then made the purchase. And so I am going to uh, give you an idea, which anybody who's watched any of my training or been to any of my courses or watched any of the other videos will know is a bit of my mantra, but it's to ask. The idea is to leave the door open for further re-engagement. That's what we want. So let's ask. So given a scenario like, Brad, you know, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the effort that you put in. Thank you for treating us, treating us with respect. Thank you for the proposal, but we're not in a position to go forward right now. We've decided to go with A, B, and C down the road or to do nothing, but we're not going to be going forward. And you get to the point where you've, try to overcome a couple of objections or you, you've spoken a bit further about it, but you realize this customer is not going forward right now. Hey, Mr. Client, Mrs. Client, not a problem. It's been an absolute pleasure connecting with you. It's been an absolute pleasure dealing with you. I love what you guys are doing. And then ask, would you be open to me popping you a call in another three months just to check in and see how things are going? simple. It's a nice, easy ask. It's not confrontational. It's not combative. It's not angry. It's very, very friendly. But I've got to tell you, very seldom has anyone ever said no. Mr. Client, Mrs. Client, I totally respect your decision. Best of luck with this thing. Genuine best of luck. Would you be open to me popping you a call in the next three months just to see how things are going. And folks, as I've said, the vast majority of people say yes, and you're a professional salesperson. I like to think I'm a professional salesperson. I immediately pop that onto my Outlook calendar or my diary, whatever you run, three months time, call A, B, and C client to see how things are going. Now, if they've made a purchase with somebody else, they're, probably, they're not gonna make that same purchase with you, but the door is open to re-engage with further solutions and further proposals that you might have and an opportunity just to build some more relationship. Folks, this is so simple. It is so non-combative. It is so friendly. You can do this. Give it a whirl. 
See what happens. Go for it.